Hello everyone. Well, this video is going to be a little different from any previous racing video I've made in that it will be the first one where there's no finish to the race. This is at the Nürburgring and we have 10 starters. The guy that's qualified in front of me, uh, sorry, my eyesight's not great. I'm having a little trouble reading his name. What, uh, what does that say? Cry like a bitch. While we were waiting for the race to begin, he typed unbelievable in the chat window. I interpreted that to perhaps mean that he was genuinely shocked to have qualified in second position. Might be his first time. So just a few more seconds before the rolling start begins. We're actually only going to end up with nine starters as the guy in 10th drops out straight away. The guy in the red car in 7th with the white roof is going to mistakenly have his foot flat on the accelerator when the rolling start begins and he had to back off straight away. The guy in fourth position also jumps ahead of me straight away. He's going to have to back off otherwise he's going to get disqualified. The guys at the back there are pretty messy. So we roll up to the sweeping hairpin to come around onto the straight to begin. behind me looks to be pushing his luck to get away to a good start and we're underway and he doesn't get away to a bad start and he's right up next to me fortunately the guy behind me that's misjudging the corner completely swerves misses everyone straight into the fence looks like it's over for him but cry like a bitch has grabbed the lead on the first corner The guy in second just touches the leader, which causes me to clip him, but I hit him twice and on the second time straighten him up again. That's put me up into second place. Now down the hill to another sweeping hairpin. that I tapped that was originally in pole position is definitely uh, wanting to take back second place. A little bit of contact, then a lot more contact. He bounces off in the wrong direction, I bounce off into the right direction. The guy that was in fourth now moves up to third and he's hot on my tail. As we come up to the hairpin past the pit entrance, I throw it down a couple of gears, I let it coast and then I accelerate out of the corner. Take note of that because that's the feature corner in this video. get a good launch out of this corner and immediately start to break away from the two behind me. And I can see Cry Like a Bitch isn't too far in front of me.
So coming up to this hairpin again, hardly any brake. It's all engine brake. And accelerating out of the corner, of course. It could be just camera angle, but it looks like I've gained a fair bit there. Yeah, I can see I'm definitely a lot closer than I was last lap. Whoa, horribly wide there, almost even off the track. That's not going to help. Again here, brake first, then downshift, and accelerate out. Closer, closer, I'm reeling him in. Absolutely massive gain there, now I'm onto him. And it's from this point he probably starts to have a bit of difficulty driving as the tears begin to well up in his eyes.
Yeah, I was using the brakes, buddy. Don't worry. But you drive like a freaking snail, so... coming up to it, he takes this hairpin at like five miles an hour. I end up rear-ending him, spinning him, and off he goes. And it's at this point that he doesn't even attempt to re-enter the race. He's typing away frantically and I'm getting messages. Learn how to brake retard. Of course, I'm a bit too preoccupied to answer him, but he's going off his tree. Of course, if I had an extra set of hands, I'd be typing, learn how to brake before the corner instead of on the exit, fool. The only reason you can't see him menstruating everywhere at the moment is because his car is red. Anyway, so it's at this point that he pulls over, rings up his boyfriend, has a bit of a cry, quickly calls his psychologist to make sure that his appointment next Thursday for his mental issues is still booked in, and takes a few moments to scoop a large amount of salt out of his vagina. Now, I have to admit, I've never seen this one before, but what he's actually doing is, he's waiting for me to come around again. Of course, at this moment, I'm completely oblivious to all of this, but I have to share with you guys how much I enjoy watching this replay back, knowing that he's seething in a fit of uncontrollable anger that he doesn't have the maturity to put a cap on. Anyway, dude, you've still got a little bit of time. Grab that scoop and scoop out some more salt. Go on. Oh, we can hear cars approaching. He's starting to jizz inside his racing suit. Oh, you got me, partner. It hurts so bad. I'll, I'll never race again. And then he immediately quits out because, you know, he's so courageous and all. Anyway, dude, I look forward to seeing you in future races. It's going to be lots of fun. But just to finish off, seriously, dude, if you can't handle being pushed off the track, something that's happened to us all dozens of times, maybe you should give up racing and think about taking up crochet or making your own potpourri. Thanks for watching, everyone.